Sure. Well, there's been two things markets have been latching onto over the past week. The first is signs of further cross-party collaboration. The second, of course, that we may have to get an Article 50 extension. Now, so far, Plan B looks quite a lot like Plan A for Theresa May. But, of course, for markets, it's really seeing as she inches perhaps towards a different alternative, perhaps a customs union, those headlines will matter for markets. But, of course, the big question is we're still in this stalemate situation where She's going to find it really tricky to get it past the Brexiteers, uh, the DUP, and as she inches further towards compromise, that's going to could end quite badly. The big criticism, both from European perspective and also from many inside Parliament and across the UK, is we've just had so much uncertainty for such a long period of time. And I'm just wondering whether, if that continues, it ends up having an impact on the British economy. Are you seeing any evidence of that? Yeah, I mean, certainly. I mean, for, from a business perspective, nothing has changed. The fact remains we're leaving uh, the EU on March the 29th with or without a deal. And unless we get a deal or we get an Article 50 extension, that's the premise that businesses have to work on. And we're going to see more and more signs of businesses preparing for that. There's then a risk that that slips through to the consumer mindset if businesses get more vocal. So it's going to be a bumpy ride for the economy over the next few months. I want to ask you also about the perspective of Labour, the opposition party here in the United Kingdom. They seemingly have not wanted to endorse the idea of a second referendum. And I just wonder, that's obviously partly a political calculation. Is there any economic calculation behind that? Is there a concern about, for instance, extending uncertainty long into the future by both delaying the Article 50 negotiating period and then potentially having the possibility of Brexit being reversed, do you think? Well, it's certainly going to take a long time to sort out if we do have a second referendum. There were talks about it could take up to a year. That was according to the government last week. I think most other estimates put it closer to, to six months. But certainly, yes, that does prolong the uncertainty. But I think you're right. This is mainly a political calculation at this stage. They know the further Theresa May inches towards compromise, the more and more uh, Brexiteers get uh, enraged by that. And Labour will spot an opportunity and potentially have another no-confidence vote over the next few weeks. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.